Every year in the United States, one billion pounds of this common fall fruit is just thrown into the landfill. The real tragedy though, is that for every 100 pounds of this waste, two pounds of pure nitrogen, two pounds of pure phosphorus, and one and a half pounds of pure potassium is thrown away with it. So what am I talking about exactly? That's right, after Halloween and Thanksgiving, this seemingly useless decoration turns out to be one of the most nutrient dense items you could possibly compost. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll show you in a minute how to keep it from smelling. But first, why are pumpkins so nutrient dense? Well, that's because farmers collectively spend $60 million every year on synthetic fertilizers to pump up these fruits to get them to size. That way they're desirable for retail sales. And once these pumpkins are harvested and removed from the fields, the fertilizer goes along with it. To begin composting one of these, we're just gonna cut the top off and start removing the seeds. I'm just gonna scrape around, loosen up these seeds, and then they should pour right out. Now, of course, you don't have to remove the seeds. You could just compost the pumpkin whole, but just keep in mind that these seeds will overwinter in your compost pile and they will likely sprout the following year. But if that happens, you can just hand pick out the vines. From here, we could toss this pumpkin whole into our compost bin, but to speed things up, it's better if you chop it up. Chopping up the pumpkin will really speed up the process of it breaking down and composting. And from here, I can easily get rid of the rest of the seeds. Now we have our chopped up pieces of pumpkins and I have two options. I can bury it directly into our raised bed or throw it onto our compost pile and bury it with leaves. Burying our pumpkin will help keep the smell down and keep out small insects and rodents. So to bury it in the raised bed, I'm just gonna dig a small trench down the middle, not quite a foot deep, but deep enough where I can bury the pumpkin down. And from here, I can just go ahead and put the pieces in the trench and then use that same soil I dug out to cover up the pumpkin. By spring, this will be all broken down and ready to use as compost. Now keep in mind, pumpkins that have been outside with plenty of air circulation are not gonna smell like the ones that have been bowling in your trash can. Ah! Now it just so happens I'm building a new compost bin behind this raised bed. And as you can see, I've already got my cardboard base down. That's gonna keep weeds from growing up through. And for the sides and back, I'm actually gonna be using pallets. If you want to see me assemble that, let me know down in the comment section and maybe I can make a video on it. For today though, I'm just gonna get my pile started. And as you can see, I've got my pumpkins chopped up pretty good here. Go ahead and break up this one. And then all I have to do is add my leaves. This is actually a really great combo because the leaves or the brown compost is a little lower in nitrogen and high in carbon and the pumpkins, which is the green compost, is a lot higher in nitrogen and less in carbon. Now again, the leaves are also gonna help keep rodents out and lighten the smell. With any compost pile, keeping it watered is really gonna help it to break down and get that bacteria and microbes going. Also, if I would've shredded these leaves, that would've helped the process speed up even more. As long as I keep it somewhat wet, like a spongy material, and even throwing a tarp or plastic over it to help it cook, this could probably turn into soil next year. So instead of trashing those old rotted pumpkins and adding to the billions of pounds that end up in the landfill, why not turn it into fertilizer? And if you're new to the channel, we talk about all things gardening. So if you wanna join this community, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you'll get updated every time we release our weekly video. Until next time, become a plant person.